I... I did nothing wrong. What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravello. Only then did he come into his own. So where do we start? Let us see if all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory ledger. Hmm, Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is, barreling. Hmm, everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. Ervalus. I like it. Quite dry. An excellent wine. You've good taste. Est, est. I think everyone and their mothers heard of this wine. Among the best in the world. Castel Ravello is famous for it. Fiorano. Dandelion's favorite. Adores it. Ah, yes. That sophisticated palate of his. Got Pamino over here. Are dated 1268. Close, but not quite the right year. Right here, 1269. What now? Let's see if any barrels are empty. Wanna open them? For now, a knock will suffice. If you hear a hollow thud, we will have found what we seek. This one's full too. 
Looks like all the barrels are full. Dead end, I'm afraid. Full they are. The question is, are they full of Sonriat? Grab a tap and a hammer. We shall open them one by one and taste. Ready. We can start. Ready. Step aside. So? Those hints of spice. Mm, distinctive. This is Sonreal. Revolting, bitter, plonk. Could have gone sour while aging. Impossible. This is not wine. This is contaminated refuse that should never have made it into a barrel. The fact that it did was no accident, I'm sure. Master Fabricio, let's see what he has to say about it. Master Fabricio, I am very disappointed. But, Your Grace, I... You are a step away from losing your head. Speak the truth and you might yet keep it. I... I, I admit it. I, I... I sold a barrel of Sorreal. I beg you to forgive me. Why did you do it? I couldn't resist. The sum they offered, it was enormous. I gave in. Is what I provide not enough? I wished to buy back my family's estate. For here, nothing is truly mine. I've a roof over my head, ample food to eat, but what is a nobleman without land of his own? I shall tell you everything, if you agree to show me mercy. Who'd you sell the wine to? A few weeks passed at the pheasantry, a rich nobleman approached me. He, he called himself a diplomat, well-connected at court. He suggested we embark on an enterprise. Some of his clients had offered dizzying sums for even a drop of Sonreal. He was to serve as intermediary. This man's name? He never revealed it. He was tall, black-haired, and spoke with a foreign lilt. He claimed to hail from Sintra. I've no Sintrian aristocrat at court. Really thought nobody'd find out. I was a fool, very foolish. I beg you, Your Grace, you must forgive me. Wine itself, how'd you hand it over? We met under the cover of darkness in the ruins of Fort Astre. A dozen or so men came to collect. Armed men, the kind that stink of trouble. I had hauled the barrel there, they transferred it to their cart, and we went our separate ways. That's it? At the last you ever saw of them? They... that is to say, a, a few days passed, a, a messenger arrived. He said they wished to buy another barrel, and, well, I've prepared it, have it ready to deliver. That's enough. Know all we need to know. Your Grace, I beg your forgiveness. Get out of my sight. Captain, have your men take Master Fabrizio to the dungeon. He must answer for his crime. High treason the charge. What now, Witcher? 
We set a trap. Need to catch the wine thieves. Sentry and Noble could be our blackmailer. Next, transport. I'll take it to Fort Astra. Damien and his soldiers will cover me. For once, I agree with you. We will do as you say. Let me know when you are ready. <laughs>